El Nino pattern is going to do for the upcoming winter season. And now that we're halfway through October, we're starting to get more and more signs in terms of what our winter is potentially going to look like. And that's where Taylor's question comes in. Are we still expecting a strong El Nino pattern? And the answer is yes. I want to show you what the pattern compares to right now versus some of the other September patterns we've seen. So what we're plotting is the sea surface temperature in the Pacific Ocean right off the coast of South America, the departure from average and the whole month of September since 1979. You can see some years we've had La Nina, some years we've had El Nino. Where do things stand right now? We're right about here, about a little bit more than a degree above the average, but it's not as large or as strong as some of the other El Ninos we've had most recently in 2015, where we were nearly almost two degrees above average at this point in the season. So what does that mean going forward into the upcoming winter? Well, the Climate Prediction Center put out their outlook for December, January and February. That's the winter season. Equal chances of drier or wetter than normal conditions in terms of the rain and the snow. But one thing we're more confident on, especially in an El Nino pattern, is that we're likely to see warmer than normal temperatures. 40, 40 to 50 percent probability of that occurring. Don't forget, though, there will be some cold, too. That doesn't mean we're not going to see some really, really chilly days. And I'm going to talk more about that later this morning on WQAD.com. We've also got some frost to track in the forecast, too, next.